In the event of a fracture through the mass lateralis of the sacrum, the posterior pelvic girdle cannot be stabilized with the plates shown in previous presentations. In this case, one remedy is screw insertion from outside. The intention is to place a cancellous bone screw into the vertebral body of S1. The optimal placement of the screw is critical in order to reliably prevent entry into the spinal canal posteriorly and preclude damage to the large ventral vessels. Further, the screw may not cross the foramen sacral pelvinum 1. The reference points for accurate orientation are the cristogluteal posterior and the rear ridge of the upper part of the ilium. The cristogluteal is visible on the computer tomogram so that optimal distance between the screw and the crista in the ventral direction can be measured prior to the operation. The distance is usually about 2 centimeters. The incinsura ischiatica and the crista iliaca are further reference points. The entry point of the screw is thus about 2 to 2.5 centimeters ventral to the crista glutea posteriorly and in the middle between the incinsura ischiatica and the crista iliaca. The forum sacrale pelvinum 1 is marked with a Kirschner wire. The hole is drilled perpendicular to the dorsal ilium. Finally, the operator can feel the lateral mass of the sacrum and its ventral limit with the index finger. For greater clarity, this film shows an elevation view which unfortunately is not possible during the operation. It shows the orientation in the direction of the finger and the vertebral center without endangering the vessels ventrally and the medullary canal dorsally. The measurement will be 75 millimeters or longer if the drilling channel is properly oriented. The thread is cut and a short thread cancellous bone screw is inserted with a washer. In a pure sacroiliac joint fracture, a shorter second screw can be anchored in the lateral mass of the sacrum as shown, slightly convergent to the first one without endangering the medullary canal. Since our case involves a fracture through the massa lateralis of the sacrum, this is obviously not sufficient. Here we must either rely on one single screw or place a second screw in the vertebra convergent to the first one while precluding a mechanical conflict between the two. As you can see, the stabilization of a sacral fracture is much more delicate than that of pure sacroiliac joint fracture.